actors showreels mm -hmm. for the actors who don't have enough experience of actually mm -hmm. working on productions mm -hmm. and they have to create some footage like take some footage for self tapes uh, for for uh, showreel mm -hmm. is it worth to go to companies who will do it do like the scenes for mm -hmm. you or is it better to do it at home again with yeah. good, good light good sound on yeah. your phone quality is good enough with a friend again depends on your circumstances so if you can afford to have a professional showreel filmed and you have actors available to you who are good <laughs> yeah. um, and who are willing to be in those scenes with you then absolutely go for it but just make sure you are the main focus of those scenes and that mm -hmm. your good actor friend is not overshadowing you mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you want them to be good but you don't want them to do steal that attention <laughs> from you um, yeah then absolutely you know why not why not go for that but not everyone can afford that um, in that case I'd say if you want to collect professional looking footage, get involved in a few short films if you have the time to. Obviously ones that are worth your time where you, you have lines, you have on-screen time. And you know, after you've done three or four, that's enough to put a showreel together, mm -hmm. just making sure that that production team is willing to share that footage with you for your showreel. Um, and if you are not able to do either of those things, then um, a, just a good quality self-tape of your own repertoire so if you really enjoy Shakespeare and you have a good Shakespeare monologue so good quality self-tape of that monologue by itself clearly labeled um, then if you have a contemporary you know duologue of something that's on Netflix you get someone to read in for you then you do that scene as a good quality self-tape I'd rather see for good good <laughs> for good quality um scenes filmed as self tapes than a low quality show reel that because sometimes <laughs> people tend to go for the cheaper uh show reel options or they try to film it as if it's a short film or something with friends and then it turns out being like just I want to say like gray. I don't know if that's mm. if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. You know. Yeah, okay. I can understand what you mean. Like it's just not showing you in your yeah. best light. I'd say choose good quality self tape or good quality reel. Mm -hmm. Don't don't go for uh, don't compromise and go for a low quality mm -hmm. reel or try and stage a full production at home mm -hmm. with your friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> no, I mean, maybe that. try it, but it, you, the, there's no guarantee anything will come out good out of it. <laughs> because no, try to not... try do things for sure, <laughs> but don't yeah. expect it necessarily be good. <laughs> That's true. No, you know what? You're you're right. Wait, give it a go. But <laughs> we, the most important thing is that we can connect with you through it. Mm -hmm. So if we're not connecting with you through your show reel or through your monologues that are on there then it's not good mm -hmm. even if your acting is brilliant if we can't connect with you that that's the end of it really so that's the most important part